Zolgad, Declan Goff. You can always find the YouTube version if you're not watching us right now on youtube.com slash score north. Click the subscribe button and we will feed you daily Vikings content. So um, amid all of the COVID-19 discussion the last couple months and uh, the NFL potentially playing games in front of empty stadiums or at least drastically reduced crowd numbers, there's going to be a revenue impact. And Judd, you have an article We should dive into this because the Vikings are already pressed up against the salary cap for this past free agency period. Yep. And uh, it sounds like all teams could be dealing with some cap issues going into 2021-22. Yeah, so Ian Rapport of NFL Network came out with a report. And I will say this figure slowly because it's mind-boggling in a league that for the most part uh, prints money on a yearly basis and in which the salary cap ordinarily goes up by a decent amount, right? Mm-hmm. It might not be great all the time, but it goes up, and uh, it and th- this is definitely a league that doesn't have problems. Um, Ian Rappaport reporting that the 2021 season could see a decrease in the salary cap by as much as $40 million per team. Per team. Now it's a two hundred million dollar cap for two thousand twenty. Yes, it, yes. In, in fact, the exact figure for the two thousand twenty cap is one hundred ninety eight million dollars plus. Okay, if it drops by forty, that would put things that would take you from one ninety eight to one fifty eight million. And th- there's a story that I'm looking for, looking at here from the Daily Norseman. They flushed it out a little bit. And they write, based on that figure, according to the folks from over the cap, there are 21 teams that already would be over the 2021 salary cap based on the money that they have committed, including every team in the NFC North. Uh, wow. <laughs> so that's a lot to digest. Yes, it is. And it makes it makes it even tougher for the teams like the Vikings that are paying one guy 30 plus million dollars, right? Which which. You know, three of the four teams in the division are Matt Stafford makes about 27. Mm -hmm. Kirk Cousins makes about 32 to the cap on average. And Aaron Rodgers is like 33, 34 million, somewhere in there. Yep. 30, uh, somewhere in the mid thirties. So boy, imagine being a free agent either by your own choice or like if your contract is running out or if a team can just cut you without having to eat money toward the cap, there's no way anyone's getting paid. No. Because you Oftentimes you see two or three teams with like 50, 60, 80 million dollars to spend. Well, this would wipe out a lot of that even for like the the handful of teams that have money to spend. From a Vikings perspective, the amount of impact this could have, you know, Dalvin Cook and the discussions you're having with him, that's already complicated because he's a running back who gets hurt and now it's like, well, wait a second. But can you pay him regardless now? That that's my question. And and okay, so let's say you get creative with cook and you sign him to a five-year contract but it would have to be all on the back end there but if the salary cap goes down by 40 million dollars for your team i don't even know if there's a doable contract with cook that's that is considered to be feasible for either side then and and by the way kirk cousins um against the cap in 2020 for so for the coming season is due to count 21 million against the cap in 2021, that goes up to what you were saying before, Phil, to $31 million. Yeah. And so so we're now talking about your quarterback eating up a $31 million chunk unless you go back and redo his contract again on a salary cap of $158 million. Think and, about that. And the, the Vikings, you know, this is another case for the Vikings to just go year to year with Anthony Harris, too, if you're talking about, well, should you, should you sign the guy to an extension and bring that $11 million? franchise number down to like eight or something and smooth it out but over the, a couple of years but the franchise tag then in 2021 f- for him makes no sense because well, if he weighed too much well that's what i'm saying is that they could have jumped into a long-term extension a month ago with sure. him and they and they decided gotcha. it's just better to, to just go 2020 gotcha. do you think the vikings had this in mind because the because the the nfl draft took place at the end of april correct so it took place about five or six weeks ago yep and we were by that point, we were six weeks into COVID. I, I would think that smart front offices had looked around and said, "Well, boy, I mean, there's a pretty good chance, based on everything we've we've been gathering information-wise from March into April, that if games are played at all in the fall, that they're not going to be played in front of seventy thousand screaming fans. And so you lose all that gate money mm-hmm. and and revenue, and you know, people buying beers and food and stuff. You lose millions of dollars every Sunday." 
I wonder if some of the smart front offices in the NFL, including the Vikings, who I think have a pretty smart front office, said, all right, if revenue is going to be really tough to come by in the NFL in 2020 relative to other years, that means the salary cap is going to come down, which means we want rookie contracts. Do you think the Vikings were thinking ahead when they drafted 15 rookies? Maybe. At the end of April. Maybe. Yeah. I, it makes sense. Um, but I don't think that, that until – until the report surfaced this week about the actual uh, potential decrease in the 2021 cap, Bill, I don't think anybody could have predicted forty that's million dollars, right? I, I mean, I would have said, okay, it's going to come down twenty or ten, but forty million dollars. So yes, I, I think the Vikings and smart teams were probably preparing for the salary cap to get adjusted in a negative way for 2021. Mm -hmm. I would say that this this potentially if we're talking about this amount is staggering and off the charts and if you're the vikings you're going to have to either restructure contracts and this is not a vikings problem it's going to be a, a league-wide problem but you're going to have to restructure contracts left and right you're going to have to cut guys harris will be i'm sure probably gone but but that's the question then is so potentially guys get cut or contracts run out they hit the open market who signs them now and do they sign yeah. dirt cheap one year deals for 2021 in, in hopes that things rebound and that post uh, COVID-19, you get yourself to a place where, OK, coming back in 2022 or probably more likely 23, the salary cap now really shoots up by quite a bit. Yeah, I, I think I think it definitely spells the end for a guy like Riley Reeve. If this happens like yeah. Riley Reeve currently, his cap hit right now is thirteen point two million dollars. You actually could have saved nine or ten million dollars by cutting him. Oh, this yeah. time around, but they just need, they need Cleveland's going to be your left tackle. Yeah. yeah. They need bodies along the offensive line. I don't know how you can spring this on teams though. Hey, uh, sorry, but uh, you, you got to figure this out. Everyone's got to, everyone's got to get $40 million further down than what they thought they were going to have to be cap wise. Like, one thing though is, is this league um, treats its players as poorly as any league does but even when they get like, away with it wouldn't they have to spring if if there's going to be a 40 million dollar decrease in salary cap wouldn't that information have to be disseminated like in the fall like you can't usually they're going to be guessing usually franchises find out we're getting in the weeds and i love this like i'm a i'm a nerd for stuff like this yep so ordinarily teams don't find out what the exact salary cap number is going to be until like early march right like the league year starts right. and they kind of figured out yep in the early part of March and then yep. free agency hits in the middle of March. And so, but ordinarily that cap number, you can kind of project, all right, well, it was 195 last year. And so it's probably going to, like, it always goes up for the most part, except for uh, like the one uncapped year, 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. But this, and, and so on short notice, you can kind of figure, all right, well, it was, all right, we were kind of $2 million off on our projection. $40 million doesn't give you a lot. Of, imagine if they sprung that on you on like March 1st. All right. In two weeks, you guys hey, got to figure this out. Go to it. <laughs> Who do you cut? Reef is gone for sure. You're right about that. In fact, he, he might be gone regardless of what happens to the cap. Let but, me pull up the two. So 2021 here. You're going to have to make either adjustments to contracts or you're going to have to cut some guys that you like. So I'm on uh, I'm on overthecap.com right now, and uh, so according to overthecap.com, the Vikings would save about twelve million dollars pre next June first by cutting Riley Reeves. Okay. Um, they would well, Daniil Hunter ain't going anywhere. Kirk nope. Cousins, Kirk Cousins ain't getting cut. Nope. Because uh, you owe him a bunch of money. You still the owe structure if you can. And you think well, what about Anthony Barr? Well, Anthony Barr. You could save $8 million by cutting Anthony Barr after 2020. Okay. But you'd still have to pay him $8 million okay. in dead in dead cap money. Yep. Or you'd have, you'd have $8 million in dead cap money. I think Kyle Rudolph would be gone. That's a $5 million savings. And you have Irv Smith. This is probably Kyle Rudolph. If that happens, this is for sure Kyle Rudolph's last year as a Viking at that price. Mm -hmm. Some other guys, man, you could save, if you cut Harrison Smith, you could save $10 million. What? What's the dead cap? But on, Anthony on Harrison Smith. But Anthony say? Harris, uh, it's, uh, zero after this year. Ooh, there's some controversy. That's a controversial, but but he's, possibly but he's awesome. But possibly necessary move. Let's see here. Shamar Stephens a four million dollar yeah, hit. Well, okay, bye bye. Michael Pierce six point five million. He's probably he, you could cut him after one year. You'd still have to pay him four to the cap, but but think about the teams that are going to have to make decisions like this. And this is this I is. Mean, 
This is you couldn't have foreseen this coming, but this is why a team like Pat Mahomes right now is still on a rookie contract. These teams that have quarterbacks, actually, on a on a previous episode of Purple Daily here, I asked you guys about would you rather have Kirk Cousins at thirty two million or Josh Allen at seven and a half million cap hit average in the next three years? Yep. I'll tell you what, if they're gonna knock forty million dollars off the salary cap, Kirk Cousins is a far better quarterback than Josh Allen, but I would rather have a cheaper quarterback. I just would. In light of this Tough. news, I would call the uh, Dalvin Cook camp and say, no, 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 we're, we're, we are standing, we, you and your camp and our camp can't move now. Like so then Alex Madison know. would be your starting running back. And he's, and I think he's a very good Or I would just say, you know what, let's play him through 2020. And then if the cap can go back up in 2022, or, well, mm-hmm. actually, yeah, no, that, that's a problem too. I just I can't extend him now. I'm gonna, I, I can't I can't take a running back and give him a rich contract I- extension when I have um, committed to my quarterback a what's going to be potentially a huge portion yeah. now, not a big portion, a huge portion of, of my cap. I think you're sort of screwed. All right, I'm gonna just like just to wrap this episode. I'm, I I have in front of me in order from the most money you would save to the cap to the least. I'm not gonna go through the whole roster, but I'll start at the top and you just say if. If the league comes in and says, sorry, revenue got wiped out, you gotta find you gotta find a way to shave forty million dollars off, or you gotta find a way to go from a two hundred million cap to a one hundred and sixty million dollar cap. Yep. All right. Yep. Riley Reef, twelve million dollar savings if you cut him after two thousand this is all after two thousand twenty. All right. Mm-hmm. Riley Reef, twelve million dollars. He gone. He right? saved he 12, 12 million. I'll read this down. All right. H- Harrison Smith, ten million. I'm going to put Anthony here. Anthony Harris is not under contract for 2021, but but effectively you would be saving $11 million because that's what his franchise tag number is right now. Okay. So Anthony Harris, $11 million. 43, yep. Adam Thielen, you would save $8.1 million by oh. saying goodbye to Adam Thielen after Ooh. the year. He, but he's from here. I love no Adam way. Thielen. I love him. <laughs> no, he really is. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank God State, huh? We know he's from Minnesota. People who Augsburg. didn't catch up on the sarcasm. Sorry, last unbelievable. Time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Declan, they accused you of thinking you went to St. Cloud State. <laughs> he just did oh. it. Declan did it again. <laughs> oh, guess what? Go okay, Huskies. so now, right. so now we're at fifty-one point one million dollars saved. All right, uh, Anthony Barr, seven point seven million. <laughs> Michael <laughs> Pierce, six point five million. I just signed him. Okay, so now we're to sixty. We're at oh, we're at uh, sixty-four point eight million. Daniil Hunter, five point seven million. He ain't going anywhere. No, you're getting no, no. I'm, I'm not including that one. Eric on Kendricks, five point five. He ain't going anywhere. No, nope. dude's in his prime. And you just cut Bar already, right, Anthony Bar? Kyle Rudolph, five point one. Oh, throw yeah. him on there. Oh yeah, five point. And one. Shamar Stefan for three point seven. You could probably throw him on there too. Yeah. You can find Shamar. Three point one. Three point seven. Three point seven. You would save. Okay, I'm at seventy two plus now. All right, so all right, but so who, we can go back and figure out. Okay, who do you keep? But in the that Harrison group, but... Smith one, man, that's a tough. Damn. That's a that one's brutal. Yikes. So. All right. Well, these are things that are going to have to be figured out by Rob Brzezinski and company if this indeed happens. Forty billion. That's a wrap on this episode of Purple Daily. Thank you guys for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time.